everybody and welcome to the 3D Print Zone. In this video I will be showing you how to unclog your 3D printer nozzle in the case of a jam. Make sure to check out the description of this video below for more information on how to unclog your 3D printer nozzle. There are many potential causes for the nozzle of your 3D printer to clog. If the temperature is either too hot or too cold, this can cause clogging. Another cause is if the nozzle of your printer is too close to the print bed, the filament has nowhere to go and this can cause a jam as well. Poor quality filament with inconsistent diameter or dust particles can also cause problems. But no need to worry, in this video I will walk you step by step on how to resolve this issue. So let's get started. So the first question you might ask is, how do I know if the nozzle has a jam? The most common sign that the nozzle is clogged is that there is inconsistent extrusion. This can cause gaps and air pockets in your print, or in the extreme case that there is a full blockage, no filament at all will come out of the nozzle. The inside of the extruder channel must be cleaned out so that the filament can once again flow smoothly. The first step of unclogging the nozzle is to heat it up. Typically I like to heat it up to a standard printing temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. Once the nozzle is preheated, remove the filament from the top of the nozzle. Your printer should have come with a metal rod with a hook at the end. If not, you can use any wire that is roughly the diameter of your filament. Press down on the filament lever and slowly push the metal rod down the chamber of the extruder. The rod should travel until it hits the tapered nozzle head at the bottom of the extruder. Any filament that is stuck inside of the nozzle should be pushed out with the rod and extrude out the bottom. You can take the hook out and repeat this step multiple times to make sure that you get most of the filament out of the nozzle. If your printer had a simple clog, then this might be all you need to do to unjam it. If you are still getting inconsistent extrusion or curling of the filament when it leaves the hot end, you may need to complete this next step. Using a very thin wire, push the wire through the nozzle hot end to clear the hole. For this, I found that a thin guitar wire typically works great. You may need to repeat this step multiple times, and you can pair this step with the metal rod step I previously talked about. Again, at this point your nozzle clog may be resolved. But if it's not, or if you have a complete blockage preventing you from pushing the metal rod all the way through the nozzle, you will need to disassemble the nozzle to clear it. There are two main locations to try to disassemble and clear. The first is near the stepper motor where the gear is that drives the filament down the extruder chamber. To access this, use an Allen wrench to remove the four screws from the panel near the stepper motor. With this panel removed, you now have access to the gears, and if there's unwanted filament in this location, or around any of the moving parts, remove it and reinstall the panel. If the jam is lower down in the extruder, then there's a good chance that it is right at the entrance to the hot end itself. To remove the hot end, use your Allen wrench to loosen the set screw above it. Once it is loose, use a pair of needle nose pliers to grab the hot end and gently pull downwards to release it from the nozzle. Be careful not to pull the nozzle away from the machine as it is connected to the printer by wires for the heater and thermistor. You now have access to both the hot end and the passage that the hot end connects to so you can try to unclog it from here. You can once again use the metal rod and thin wire techniques. Once the jam is removed, you can push the hot end back into the extruder and tighten the set screw back up. If your nozzle is unclogged, the filament should now freely flow out of the nozzle. So hopefully one of these methods works for you, but if none of them do, I would suggest contacting the printer manufacturer. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel for more 3D printing videos and make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments section below. Thank you and have a great day.